Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going to be checking out the brand spanking new update today. Of Snow Runners. First thing you guys will notice, there's a new engine option. We will be hopefully trying to find it. Also in this update there is the twin steer update. So you have all the drive now on the twin steer and it is a beast now. Um, you do have a big to fuel, uh, yeah, fuel consumption now. So the six dollar ones don't change anything. One of the new features is these little bubble heads. I always do the dash home. Got cards. And disclaimer: I did not show this in the video, but if you do do the stickers, or if you look on the bottom right hand corner, is a button so you can. Select different slots. You can put more than one sticker in your vehicle. You can put them on the mirror or the visors, the side, dash. Like the K500 pickup truck has four you can put on the um, clothes department. Um, just looking through the vehicles because if you are watching that one red Chevy pickup truck that everyone been driving on YouTube on the public test server that has two axles in the back. I don't know if you can get it in this update. I heard you can, but I haven't found it. So I'm just looking through here. Seeing if there's anything new. Uber that I can play a trial for. Probably will use the fuel trailer on this, which gives a more power to weight ratio. That's going to be really good because the new map very scarcely has uh, fuel, so it does have a big trailer in the airport where you get the new vehicle. But. Uh, I just wanted to say I really, really enjoy the new map. The map is awesome. Scout vehicle first. I'll just scout everything out, get anything you want, like upgrades and that. There is a garage, but you have to do two main missions for them. Otherwise, the map is gorgeous. There are a lot of tight, tight, tight corners in that. I did not record this on my YouTube at all. On YouTube, but there is a little rock bridge. I did use this a little tiny truck to go there. So, yeah, and I fast forward so you guys know how to watch me miserably drive all the way over there. So, let's uh, head into the location, people. Let's see what it's all about. I'm here with my friends. There's also concrete slabs on the one part of the map where you can use a crane to move them to make your own bridge. There are some concrete slabs for a scout vehicle, but not for a big vehicle. And that truck is weighted down a lot. Look at the back squat. I haven't noticed any bugs or anything with this update. And here we are. Kind of weird music playing, I'll say that. Very strange music. I know there's like big giant footprints on this map. I haven't found the east right now, but I know there is. Now, right when you guys start off, you want to keep to the right, because the right is where you can find the twin star all wet drive. So, right here, you come out of the garage, or the tunnel, I mean. Um, I, but to where it is, normally when you have to build the garages, you have to do these, the main missions, these, this section is called the main missions. Surprisingly, you don't have to do main missions, you actually gotta do tasks. Which is kinda weird, kinda confusing. Tasks, contracts, whatever you wanna call them. But uh, I didn't know until I was driving around with the mobile watchtower, which I suggest you to bring on this map because you can find some good stuff fit. Um, I did not know that until I was driving around the one you have today. So, around this area right here, you have to drive. 
I actually should have gone this way too because if you go straight away, there is some very, very deep snow in it. Kind of like buried my K500, like the snow is past the windows. That's how deep it is. This thing has flotation tires and it is a beast. Yes, it's a little bouncy. Yes, it likes flipping over a lot. Yes, you don't have a time like a winch with this vehicle, but besides the point, you can really use it if you just keep it in low range and feather the throttle. Um, thanks for 175 subscribers. If you all new here, make sure you hit the like. I am will be doing starting up some more live streams on my YouTube channel, and I will be doing more, hopefully, stream on my tablet if I can get it works. My tablet like me crashing on me, so hopefully I get that to work. And I'm stuck on a tree. Also, this vehicle does not have the best turn radius. It really, really, really has bad turn radius. Also, the bobblehead and the car does move around while you bounce around. Sorry, but my phone is going off. Sorry for the background noise. Okay, sorry about that. Some people screaming in the background for some stupid reason. I would suggest you to bring a very small vehicle um, to get the all-wheel drive because it's very treacherous to get there and to get to the all-wheel drive location. Um, I want to thank also everyone who watched that last video. I had 80 views on it. I appreciate that all. I'm really, really hoping I get 180 subscribers before my birthday in October. I want to do like a birthday special thingy, so. If you guys ain't subscribed, who isn't watching, which is like 45% of you guys, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And I almost flipped there. Good thing I saved it. It, is, it takes about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what vehicle you are taking to get here. That's why I suggest you right away to get the garage unlocked, because it, recovering the vehicle all the way over to another map, it's annoying. Very, very annoying. You gotta drive all the way back. I really suggest you just get like a couple friends unlocked the garage right away. But if you want to go scouting first, that is a good thing too. So you know the roads and what to bring in at, what vehicles you think you are capable of driving that you're not going to flip over the load. This is a little cute area over here. Like I said, this vehicle, the voltage tires, man, it's just, it's just a beast. It is very throttle happy with the water or the gas on it. I don't know why it's like that. The power rate ratio does go up for some stupid reason. Besides that point, I believe I gotta take that smaller road right there. Next upgrade, I wanna get definitely the Ford upgrade. Well, let's make our way over there to get that all wheel drive. I actually enjoy this game. Um, one of my biggest things I found out today is 
the next update coming to consoles is having something new. It's gonna have Italian skin. We're gonna have new cargo. We actually got store cargo in that. I can't wait to see how that works. The next update is gonna be Canada. Yeah, I want it Canada so bad because you get to build stuff. And I love building on this game, so it's gonna be awesome. We get two new cats. We get one that's Italian skin. It's just gonna be very amazing, so. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Because there's gonna be a lot more content coming. That little tiny road right there, I gotta go up. Right there. Also, Map Runners is back up online. You can go on there to find all the upgrades and stuff like that. I use it for the tasks because, as you all know, the tasks don't work like they used to anymore. So now you actually gotta try there. It's got annoying before I actually told you what you need. So, right here is an upgrade. And it is for the Western Star. What a big game changer. And thank you to my friend at Backwards has unlocked the new vehicle for me. It's kind of beat up. Let's just say very, very beat up. Look how cute it looks though. It's like... Little adorable thing. Kind of looks like the Ford almost. Well, the cab looks like the Ford, not the hood. So cute. And yes, you can put tagos on this, you can put flotation tires on this, which is amazing. So, the airport is generally pretty easy to get to. Um, you just take a little tiny dirt road into it. Got some helicopters here. This is not where the garage is. The garage is way up top towards the left area. There's like a bridge missing. And that's where you can get the concrete slabs for little scout vehicles. And you know, some hot bags to get over by a big vehicle. But besides that, this this is like an OP update. The only downside is I do not know about that Chevy. People say it's like a lock unlockable vehicle. I don't know. I really want it. So I'll recover this guys so you guys can see all the upgrades and stuff you can do to it. The game does seem like it loads a little bit faster. Here we are. Let's see what upgrades. Yep. Two and en three engine upgrades. Typical gearbox. This does have the active and it has the rays. You get some big giant tires on this. Right there, tag of tires, flotation ones, get ginormous ones, get snow chains. I really do wish you could put the atomical winch like you have in the scout vehicles and the off-road vehicles. Cause that'd be really dope if you could. Snorkelers. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Custom beds. That's cool. Fuel on this one. I got droopy. I look at the fuel. Telly's up his crane. Ooh, you can't put a semi hitch on this. Disclaimer if you put the very first um, multi thingy or repair thingy, the roof rack goes away. Put the 
Hunter bumper on this because it looks better. Uh, give it stock sauce. Rims are saying, oh, paints. What can we paint this? Ooh, some new camo. That's cool. Got to do my little, my little dash home. I like that one. Favorite sticker. Well, that's really gonna be it, guys. Uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Peace.